Hey, what is going on guys? Ben here, aka Keo, and welcome to another episode of Risen Games. Alright, so I finally got my full luminescent armor set, and just like my previous guide guys on how to get the infused fractal capacitor, which I can give you guys a link to the video right now, um, I want to make a new series on how to accomplish the same goal and how to make the entire luminescent armor set. So we're going to start off this series with getting the boots first. First you need the four Mordrum spleen parts. You need the Mordrum husk spleen, the Mordrum teragriff spleen, the Mordrum thrasher spleen, and the Mordrum troll spleen. First place that you're going to want to go is Camp Resolve Waypoint, which is located in the Silver Wastes. And you can get here, if you haven't been there before, through Brisbane Wildlands. You just go straight through this way and go into the portal from Vandal's Claim into this portal right over here. So in order to get the Morgan parts, you're going to want to go to the Prior Historian Merchant, located right over here, right in front of the entrance. And now this guy, he sells all of the Mordrum extraction devices that you need in order to get the specific Mordrum part that drops from the Mordrum champions that spawn during the Breach and during Vinerath. So during the Breach, there's going to be a Mordrum Husk champion that spawns right over here, a Mordrum Terragriff that spawns right over here, a Mordrum Thrasher that spawns right over here, and a Mordrum Troll that spawns right over here. So during the Breach, you're going to want to go to one of those locations, complete that champion, while you have this buff going on. So, specifically for this one, it says, help kill Mordrum, Mordrum boss to collect its spleen. So when you complete that boss, then you will be able to get that specific spleen. So I'll give you a little example of what it would look like to get a Morgem Spleen part during the breach. As you can see, I bought the Morgem Spleen extraction device for 30 bandit crests from the merchant. I double click it, I get the buff, and then once you complete the champion, then you get the spleen part. During Vine Wrath, it's going to be a little bit different, but it'll still drop the exact same Mordrum parts that you need. So, if you were to go, say, to the bottom lane during Vine Wrath, then it would drop a Mordrum Troll Spleen. And then if you were to go to the middle lane during Vine Wrath, then you would be going to get the Mordrum Thrasher Spleen. And then if you're going to the top, then you would get the Mordrum Terrigraph Spleen. Like the breach clip, I'll give you a quick example of what it would look like to get a Mordrum spleen part during Vine Wrath. And next up, we need the luminescent laces. So in order to get the luminescent laces, it's really simple, guys. All you gotta do is get three full stacks of Perseverance and Silver Waste. And in order to do that, you just need to complete three individual events in Silver Waste. And each event gives you one stack of Perseverance. Then all you gotta do is go to one of the Quartermasters at one of the four forts while they're not being attacked, and you can get them for free. Next, we have to get the Imbued Beetle Shell. Now, in order to get this one, you have to go to Dry Top and go to the Waypoint Repair Station Waypoint. And a little bit to the east, there's going to be an event where you can get these Beetle Remains. All you need is one Beetle Remain. And now that you've got the Beetle Remains, then you go back to Silver Waste during a Breach. And during the breach, 
you can go to either one of the four underground caverns where the Mordrum bosses occur, and once they are complete, then a luminescent pollen cloud will spawn underground near the entrance, and all you gotta do is click on that, and then you can turn that uh, beetle remain into the imbued beetle shell. Alright, so the next part is probably the hardest, you guys. You have to complete all of the living story achievements in Seeds of Truth, and once you get all of those achievements, you automatically obtain Wind's Locket. I'll give you guys a Delphi link in the description below on how to complete all of the Seeds of Truth story achievements, and it's just a link to the Delphi guide. Uh, it's really, really well organized. It has all the information you need in order to complete all the achievements, and it's really easy to understand, so please check that out, you guys. And finally, you guys, you need to get the Carapace Greaves, the Carapace Boots, and the Carapace Shoes. And in order to get this, you need you must first get the Boot Requisition Order, which is obtainable by doing the Picaroon Scratch event just a little bit north of the Silver Waste entrance. And once you complete that event, uh, you get the Boot Requisition Order. And that item basically allows you to buy or purchase the Carapace Greaves, the Carapace Boots, and the Carapace Shoes from the merchant just in front of the Silver Waste entrance. So in total, you're going to need about 3,000 crests just to buy those three pieces of boots. But once you complete that, then you guys, you finally got your first piece of Luminescent set, the Luminescent Boots. So there you go. In our next video, we're going to be moving our way up and we're going to do a guide on how to obtain the Luminescent Leggings next. So again, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope it was a little bit informative for you guys and I hope it'll motivate you guys to obtain your own luminescent set. And until next time you guys, I'll see you later.